All right, boys and girls, we are moving into chapter two. Chapter two is about comparing numbers up to five. So lesson 2.1, we are going to learn about the same number. How can you use matching and counting to compare sets with the same number of objects? Hi there. Have you seen the pretty flowers growing here? It looks like someone planted them in rows. How many flowers are in a row? Click this flower and we'll count them. One, two, three, four. There are four purple flowers. Wow! Now, look at these yellow flowers. I wonder if the number of yellow flowers is the same as the number of purple flowers. But how do we know if there is the same number of flowers? Let's go find out about the sets that show the same number. Jill wants to count how many apples she has. She uses red counters to model her apples. Let's count them. Click the first counter to start. One. Two. Jill has two counters. Aaron uses yellow counters to model his apples. How many apples does he have? Let's count them to be sure. One. Two. Are there any more counters? No. So Aaron has two counters. Now compare Jill's counters with Aaron's counters. You can use lines to match the counters. Select the counters to match them. Does each counter have a match? Yes. So Jill and Aaron have the same number of counters. Here's a set of books. Let's count the books. One, two, three, four. Select the number that shows how many books you counted. So we counted four books. That's right. There are four books. Now count the apples. One, two, three, four. How many apples did you count? That was the same number, four apples. Yes, that's right. There are four apples. Now let's compare the sets. Are there the same number of objects in each set? How can you tell? Select each book to match it to an apple. Good job! Each book matches each apple. There are four books and four apples. The sets have the same number of objects. Now let's practice with the personal math trainer. Saving that for later. Can you find in your book page 83? 